Okay, so there's so I want to talk about the word ascend for a few minutes and then I'm going to get off. Um, ascend means to go up or to climb. And I have been studying that word for some time now, maybe like a month or more. And um, this morning, the Lord gave me two scriptures about this ascend. So I want to go to Psalm 24, three through four, just one, two verses really, really quickly. It says, who shall ascend the hill of the Lord and who shall stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart and who does not lift up his soul to what is false and does not swear uh, deceitfully. So um, the Lord was saying to me when I was reading that scripture that some of us, before we ascend, before we go to the next level, before we go higher, we have to descend, right? Descending meaning we have to offer a greater level of sacrifice, right? We have to spend more time praying, spend more time in his presence, in um some of some of us the reason why we can't ascend right now is because we're the place that we're in right is because so if you're gossiping if you're lying if you are leaving an unclean life like that scripture was talking about you're not going to be able to ascend you're not going to be able to go up you have to have clean hands and a pure heart and some of us also won't be able to ascend right if we have baggage if we have our, if we're carrying things that are weighing us down we won't be able to take flight so just keep that in mind and then another scripture he gave me was uh revelation 4 in the message bible the first verse it says then i looked and oh an open door into heaven the trumpet voice the voice the first voice in my vision called out and said ascend and enter and i'll show you what happens next and the lord was saying to me um this morning that some of us can't ascend um or won't well, we will ascend, but here's the thing. Here, here's how you gotta. He let me let me hold on. Let me slow down. He told me this morning. When you ascend, right, you have to ascend spiritually so you can see what's next. So for anybody that's kind of been like stuck and you're like, God, what's next for me? Why isn't happen? He's saying you gotta ascend. You gotta come up higher. Some of us are too low. That's why the enemy can attack us where we are because we are too low. But you think about, and I talked about this some weeks ago, the eagle and the snake, right? When they are in a battle, the eagle and the snake, when they are in a battle, the eagle comes down, takes that snake up to another realm because the eagle knows that out of that element, the snake can't has no power. It can't do anything. If I take that snake and bring him 10,000 feet upward, it can't do anything, right? So the eagle will have the advantage. And that's how we got to do. When the enemy is throwing darts at us, we don't fight him on the same level. We don't fight him on ground level. We take him up into that spiritual realm, and that's where we fight, and that's where it comes in with prayer. It comes in with fasting and doing things of the spirit. So just make sure that and there's a couple of things he said to increase your prayer time, increase the speaking in tongues. If, if you have a heavenly language, because some people um, don't believe in it. And I'm not here to say whether you should believe in it or not. It works for me. Um, but increase your if you do have a heavenly language, increase your time speaking in tongues, offer a greater level of sacrifice, a greater level of surrender. And I heard the Holy Spirit saying this morning that um, some of you know my hand, but you do you. But do you know my heart? You know what I can give you, you know the blessings that I have for you, but do you know my heart? So that's, that's, it's gonna, you're gonna have to get into a, come into a, a place where God is your priority. God is your priority. Spending time in his presence, praying, offering up a greater level of sacrifice is your priority. You will notice things in your business, thing in your life, thing in your ministry, whatever you're trying to do, all of that will ascend all of that will take off the moment you offer a sacrifice i think about my own life and my own journey um my surrendering is what opened the door to do all of this stuff um he said be intentional about, intentional about being in his presence and you're gonna see new adventures new adventures new places that you never seen um some of you gonna dream dream the more you increase in the super the the with your tongues, you're going to see the supernatural like never before. Visitations, dreams, um, visions. You're going to tap into something. When you when you tap into prayer and taking it up a lot notch. And this is when I started, when I learned how to pray in tongues, I, I would discipline myself privately, right? I started out, well, okay, I'll do five minutes a day. Then I increased to 10 minutes a day. Then 20, then 25, then 30 minutes, then 40, then an hour. And then 
hours. So you got to build up that spiritual stamina. So that way, when these dart darts are thrown at you, you're like, oh, wait a minute. Let me, let me, I know what this is. I know, I know this is who this is. I know what you're doing. Like the other night when I was having some warfare at my house. So, um, I have been increasing my prayer time, um, speaking in tongues for like hours at a time. And so, um, one night I was, so one night I was falsely accused of playing loud music in my house. And y'all, if you know me, you know, I don't do stuff like that. And, um, so I was talking to the leasing office or whatever. And, uh, the lady said, she said, he's, he's, um, he's insisting it was you. And when she said that I heard, I heard, I heard Satan. I said, I said that, I said, Satan, I see you. <laughs> I see you. I, I know what you're trying to do here, but it's not going to work. And anyway, to make a long story short, I was cleared and he accused me of something that I didn't do. And the Lord vindicate me swiftly on that matter. So don't be surprised if you get little attacks as you increase in your, your time, but you're, that means you're on the right track. So some of us, we got to descend. That means we got to offer a greater level of sacrifice before we ascend and when we ascend we enter into that place and he'll show us what's next he'll show us what's to come and how to handle this and how to handle that um and i think that's i think that's all for today i think that's all i wanted to to share i was just i just came out of prayer and the lord gave me those couple of things i had no plans on going live let me read a couple of your comments anybody need me to repeat that scripture or those scriptures and then i'm gonna get off and then i'm gonna get off so if you are somebody who is not living, you know the best life that you should be living for God. It's time to put aside all of those childish things and get your heart right because you need clean hands and a pure heart to ascend. To ascend, you need clean hands and a pure heart. Like even the petty stuff that we see on social media, the going back and forth, too low too low when you know that what the snake is doing you take that snake up and you bring it up and then you handle it in prayer you handle it in the spirit you don't don't fight the snake on the same level because that makes you on the same level as the snake and we're not doing that i told y'all when i was going through betrayal um the lord was very specific because every time i got online i saw people that i was cool with talking right and the lord made it very clear do not say anything back and that bothered me and hurt me because you mean to tell me you got people out here lying on me and i cannot say nothing back and the lord said you can't fight a devil you can't fight a demon with boxing gloves he said uh boxing gloves carry no weight in the spirit if you want this so you need the sword to cut down some things and so i learned that principle i learned that uh powerful teaching from the holy spirit and i've been operating from that ever since i'm not gonna argue i'm not gonna go back and forth i'm going to take that snake because i know what it is because it's, it's not people i'm going to take that and bring it up to another level because in the air the snake has no power no movement nothing in the air you can you imagine you take something off of it uh, off of the ground it belongs on the ground and you bring it ten thousand feet up it's not going to be able to survive up that way clean hands and a pure heart i seen somebody said repeat the scripture it was psalm 24 3 and 4 psalm 24 3 and 4 and then it was revelation 4 the first verse in the message bible that was the message bible in the message bible i have failed many times but that's okay that's okay now you know you get back on track now you know now you know now you know you want to tap into the supernatural you have to ascend that starts with your prayer life your fasting your sacrifice however you get in the presence of the lord you got to continue on that way got to continue on that way continue on that way continue on that way Thank you for that. Keep me in prayer. A coworker who I got who got who I got the job has verbally attacked me Friday. Okay, we're gonna take that. We're gonna take that snake and bring it up. We're gonna take that snake and bring it up. No arguing with the coworker, no going back and forth. We're gonna take that, we're gonna go to a place that your coworker that probably ain't even going to. In prayer, it's solved already. It's solved already. Nothing but the Holy Spirit. What language do you speak when you speak in tongues? I don't mind be sounding, I don't know, Hebrew, Arabic. I don't know. Some, and I noticed a shift in mine too. So that's another thing too. Is some people is going to be coming on a new, a new sound. Don't be, don't be frightened. A new sound, a new sound. You can email. I don't, I don't check inbox. You can email. Um, it's ad, I'll put it in the comments. My assistant will give it to me. It's admin at iNeedAWord.org. That's the email. 
Um, what else I wanted to say? Make sure y'all download the I Need a Word app. Oh, I put the wrong. I put the wrong email, y'all. I didn't mean to put that. Don't copy that one. I put, I did it wrong. I'm typing too fast. Make sure y'all download the I Need a Word app if you haven't already. You can binge watch sermons. Um, I am getting ready to do a new series on the podcast. A new series on the podcast. So make sure if you haven't downloaded the podcast, um, I'm praying for direction. We ask God that you give direction to Josh. Open up his mind. Josh, read Proverbs. Proverbs is the book of wisdom. Whenever I read the book of wisdom, it's like it opens me up in another way. And you know what the Lord said to me the other day when I was thinking about what, what can I do next and strategies and ideas. And he said to me, what's in your hands? So that's for somebody too. What's in your hands? Some of y'all, y'all got products, y'all got ideas, y'all got businesses on the inside of you. Think about what's in your hands. Dealing with grief after my daughter's father passed away. Definitely offering you my condolences. I just lost my aunt and uncle in a car accident last, was that last week or the week before? And we just had a funeral the other day. Devastating, y'all. Devastating. But God, even in grief, God is a comforter. God is a comforter. It seems like every time I'm getting ready to do something pivotal in my life, I go through su such a loss. But even in that, I find his strength. He gives me strength. So, yes, Proverbs is the book of wisdom. Proverbs is a book of wisdom. Definitely do that. So make sure y'all download the I Need a Word podcast. I am um, getting ready to launch a new series. I think this series is going to be way more personable, though, because there's an episode that I'm going to come out with. It's going to be called Love, Relationships, Dating, and Sex. And the reason why I'm talking about things like that is because I know this woman, well, I wanna, well this girl, and she's sleeping with a married man, and she doesn't see a problem with it. So we need to have those type of conversations. We need to talk about why that's wrong why that's ungodly. So those are the type of subjects and things that we're going to talk about this podcast. We're going to talk about, thank you for the condolences. We're going to talk about that. But you know what? The, the, I, found, I, got, I get peace because my last conversation, my last FaceTime with my uncle, I don't know if y'all seen my uh, video where I was crying the other day, but he said to me, when my journey is over, I'll be in the presence of the Lord. When my journey is over, I'll be in the presence of the Lord. So he told me that a few weeks back. So he said where he was going, and I believe he went that way. I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. Yeah, so ascend, y'all. We got to ascend. We can't ascend if we weighed down with baggage. Anything that's hindering you or stopping you from spending more time with God and being in his presence, cut it off. It's a distraction and a scent from the pit of hell. Cut it off. Cut the, If you got to cut the TV off, right, you got to... To turn off a uh, scrolling, like instead of scrolling all day, we got to eat the scroll. We got to increase our prayer time, increase our study time so we can be prepared for the things that are coming on the earth. Y'all, we see all this stuff that's going on. I won't be surprised if they try to say we can't, uh, we, we eliminate, we're trying to eliminate Bibles. So you want to make sure you have it here. So if there's ever a time where they're trying to be foolish with that or trying to change it and all of that. You have it here. So spend time reading, spend time in his presence so you know how to navigate for you in this season, this ne these next six months or five and a half months or whatever. You know how to navigate. You know how to navigate. Speak life over your children. I saw that the other day too. The minds of children because the enemy wants to keep them on this all day on these apps and these games and they're Settle, they're, they're not even settle no more. They do, they putting little stuff out there that's just ungodly and to get these kids addicted and get them on there all day and all night and whispering little things in their ear and kids are just picking up this strange stuff. So be very careful with that. I remember the other week I was scrolling on TikTok and this man said that he was, he's a children's author. He's a, he writes children books and he read them. So I'm like, okay, let me see what he's talking about. He was talking about dead babies and a mom cheating on the dad and the mom starting an OnlyFans account. Like, it was utter foolishness, utter foolishness. And he had about four or 5,000 people on there watching and young kids, and they think that this stuff was funny. And it was just, it was disgusting. It was disgusting. Like, I wish TikTok would remove him off of there for calling himself a children's author because there's no way 
There's no, there's that, that book, those books, he had a series of them, are not for kids, are not for kids, are not for kids. It's just disgusting. And I was in Target yesterday, and you know, they got this whole pride section. And um, I was walking by and I seen a kid's book. So I'm like, what book is this? And it, it said, um, what did it say? It says, we're something, hold up, I got it right here. Because I took a picture of it. At least I thought I did. Oh, it says, bye bye binary. Nobody put baby in pink or blue. Nobody puts baby in a pink or blue corner. So, yeah, enough said that. I'll post that too so y'all can see it. But yeah, so that's kind of where the world is trying to go. Like, everybody's loud and proud about what they believe in. We got to be the same about our truths and the truth, the truth. So my kids are not on social media. I think that's smart. I think that's absolutely smart. Um, you just, you just got to be careful. You can't let social media raise your kids. When I was a kid, we went, I, like my knees could show you, my legs are horrible because I was outside riding bikes, falling and just being a kid. Now, kids don't go outside no more. They don't go outside no more. They don't go outside no more. I would pray on that situation, okay? I would give that whole situation to God and ask the Holy Spirit how to navigate through that because it's, we, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, right? So we, the Lord can turn the heart of any king. My baby dances to worship music. Oh, so cute. So cute. All right, y'all. I'm not going to be on her much longer. Just make sure y'all download the podcast. If you're a younger woman, and you are into podcasts and things like that. Download that because you're gonna. I'm gonna do something different with that. I want to be able to um, to talk about things that we should talk about. Um, and I think one of the episodes I was talking about how there needs to be more diversity in church world. And I know that's gonna ruffle some feathers. So I ain't even gonna get into that. But I was talking about things like that. So things like that. And so the podcast will air on Friday nights. I think around nine. Um, on like social media, but you can actually download it on that Friday at like 12 p.m. ish. So I'm gonna start that, and I'm also gonna open up the door, like or not door, but open up like where people can, if you want to write in and ask questions, and I can answer them live. We can do that. Um, the name of the podcast is called I Need a Word. Yeah, this is gonna be saved. It's called I Need a Word. Thank you. It says Jesus is essential. Where in Psalms? It was Psalms 24, 3 through 4. Psalm 24, 3 through 4. The other one was Revelation 4 in the Message Bible. In the Message Bible. In the Message Bible. And we have to also look at it too. Like the intention of social media, social media and casinos, and I gotta be careful because they're probably gonna drain the reach for this, but I don't care. Social media and casinos were built to do the same thing, which is get people addicted. Um, and so you see, you ever get on here and then you like one thing and you keep seeing more things like that, or you're watching a video and it'll say three seconds to the next video. Cause they want to keep you on here longer. It's all a game. They know what they're doing. When is the date for your pre-order of your book? You know what? It's, um, it was supposed to be Friday, but I have it now. So I'll drop it in the comments. Um, so yeah, my book y'all finally is getting ready to drop is dropping. It pre-order, we can pre-order it now on my website, but if you pre-order it, it's going to be shipped out on my birthday, which is August 8th. So anybody who orders it, I guess within the next month or so, you're going to get, my, you're going to get the book and a free shirt to come with it. And you're going to be able to, um, to watch the documentary in a private zoom with me and, um, and, uh, yeah, with me. So the scripture was Psalm 24, three through four and Revelation 4 in the Message Bible, in the Message Bible, in the Message Bible, in the Message Bible. So yeah, so the book is basically about my journey growing up and having nothing and God using me to be a trailblazer in my family and then having I Need a Word and some of the struggles that I've gone through in I Need a Word. I talk about, um, it's called Girl Behind the Brand, the story of a Christian influencer. Um, it's not on Amazon yet. It will be, but I wanted to put it on my site first to offer the t-shirt with it. So whoever gets it, um, gets it with the free t-shirt and then, um, and then, uh, the, uh, the screening of the documentary. 
Let's clean up that. Yeah, so it's been a long time coming, but it's going to talk about my journey with I Need a Word and the hardships that I went through and some of the warfare, um, the warfare that comes along with being an influencer. So I pray that it blesses everybody. It, I wrote it like a year or so ago and went through so much warfare just to be able to drop the pre-order. So we just gonna trust God on this one, but I, I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful for it because I'm gonna give y'all one more story then I'm gonna go. The, I, this is my second book, right? So my first book was a marketing book, but at the time when I dropped that marketing book, and it's on Amazon too, at the time when I dropped that marketing book, I was hanging around the wrong people. And so they, I allowed people to speak negatively into me. And I was, I didn't like how I looked on the cover of the book. Like it made me so insecure listening to somebody else. Somebody was projecting their insecurity off on me and I took it as wisdom. And so I never really promoted the books book. So this one is special because I don't care what devil in hell says anything about this book. I'm doing it because I was instructed. God, I prayed a price for it and God is allowing me to do it. So and that's a lesson in itself, y'all. Be very, yes, you can buy it now. Um, it's on the, I just put it on the website. Um, be very careful who you let speak into your air. It can cost you your destiny. Be very careful. Be very careful. Be very mindful of the people you let speak into your ear, especially when you have something big on the inside of you that you know God told you to launch and God told you to do. Be very careful because I took it, I took demonic wisdom from somebody who didn't even have a book for somebody. And, and, you know, like it was just and it was all good. It was all good. Like our friendship, our relationship was all good when I when I went when I wasn't winning. It was all good when I wasn't winning. But as soon as the Lord started uh, opening doors and allowing me to get magazine interviews and radio interviews, things shifted. Things shifted. Hey, Ma. Things shifted. So, um, yeah, be careful. Be mindful, y'all. Be mindful. I do talk. And that crazy thing is I talk about betrayal in the book. I talk about my brother's murder in the book and still having to navigate through life, um, going through grief. I talk about um, um, the, whole, the the lesson I shared about the, what the Holy Spirit told me about you don't fight in the natural. It's a spiritual fight. So I do talk about a lot of that type of stuff. Um, thank you, Michelle. Appreciate that. I do talk about a lot about that stuff. Um, anything else? Before, what's the name of your book? It's called Girl Behind the Brand, The Story of a Christian Influencer. Girl Behind the Brand is only available on my website, on the I Need a Word website. If I, I, I was told if I write a book, I'm wicked, but the text I'm under isn't. Wow. Yeah, don't let nobody, if the Lord, if the Lord tells you to do a thing, I don't care what outside voices say. It don't matter. You don't matter. It's what he says. And so, but that was, a, I had to go through that to learn too. I had to go through that to learn too. It went so fast. Yeah, the books and stuff out here these days aren't. We need more children books writers. We need more people that do like children's ministry, like things with kids. We need more of that. We need more of that. We need more of that. So if you are a writer, think about what can you do or if the Lord is leading you to do in regards to children and getting their focus and attention. They like them. The babies, I think they like like cocoa melon. But then I heard there's like a Christian version of cocoa melon out there. So things like that, we need to get our baby's attention and don't allow these platforms to raise our kids because you'd be surprised how suicide rate is up because of Instagram. And that's why Instagram is under fire or they have been Instagram and platforms like that, because these kids get on there, these bullies get on there and they start saying like, oh, you should unalive yourself and you should. And these kids listen to it. You, these kids listen to it. So you got to be very, very, very very careful y'all very careful love these kids pray over them speak life over them um anoint their stuff especially when they ain't home put some oil in their shoes they ain't gonna know put some oil on that pillow they ain't gonna know you know what i'm saying like just speak life over them and monitor what they're looking at monitor what they're reading oh snapchat is the word you know what i've never i use snapchat not to use it i just use it for like the filters and stuff so i don't even know what goes on I love you too. I love you too. 
Drown the enemy's voice out with the word. Absolutely. That's exactly what Jesus would do when Satan was coming with all of that. It is written. Man should not. It is written. Just hit him back with the word. And when you, if you believe in the heavenly language, I say increase your time in that because that's something he don't understand. That's something he don't understand. That's the direct communication between you and heaven. He don't understand that. 